Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we would like to present about business intelligence. So this is my group members: Farid, Hafizuddin, Ashraf, Danish, and Danish Koyum. Before we go deeper into business intelligence, let me tell you what is the meaning of business intelligence. The meaning of business intelligence is a set of process, architectures, and technologies that convert raw data into meaningful information that drive profitable business action. Business intelligence leverage software and services to transform data into actionable insight that inform an organization strategy and tactical business decision. Okay, next we proceed with the main component of business intelligence. There are five main component of business intelligence according to Villanova University. The first is OLAPS, which is online analytical processing, which allow user to sort and select aggregates of data for strategic monitoring. The second is advanced analytic or corporate performance management (CPM), which allow user to look at statistic of certain product or service. The third is real-time business intelligence, which enable user to get up to the minute data by directly assessing operational system feeding business transaction into real-time data warehouse and business intelligence. The fourth is data sources, which takes the raw data and using software application to create meaningful data source that each division can use to positively impact business. And the last one is data warehouse, which let user sift through subset of data and examine interrelated component that can help drive business. The component that we'll explain later are data sources, ETL, enterprise data warehouse, BI analytics, and user access. Data source. A set of fields that provide the data for a business unit for data transfer into business intelligence. Number one, system, application, and product in data processing (SAP) used to provide an organization with a flexible route of sharing information that available for entire organization. Number two, relational database management system. Enable IT teams and other to create, update, administer, and otherwise interact with a relational database. Number three, five, Excel. To create test file and build Excel tables and pivot tables from the data. Text. Text file include work processing documents, log file, and save email message. Access. Refer to a user ability to access or retrieve data store within a database or other repository. ETL, extraction, transformation, and loading. ETL is a process that involves the following tasks: extracting data from source, operational, or archive system, which are the primary source of data for the data warehouse. Transforming the data, which may involve cleaning, filtering, validating, and applying business rules. Loading the data into a data warehouse or any other database or application that houses data. Enterprise data warehouse, an information system which contains historical and commutative data from single or Multiple source, a so-called a unified database that holds all business information of an organization and make it accessible across company. Enterprise data warehouse have four component. First, metadata repository, store large parts of data warehouse. Metadata and provide a central point of reference for all the stakeholders that are involved data warehouse environment. Metadata repository store include 
information on the contents of the warehouse, their location, their structure. Information on the data on infrastructure and physical characteristic of component and the source of the data warehouse. Information including security, authentication and user statistic. Next operational data store. The integration layer integrate the disparate data set by transforming the data from the staging layer often storing his transformed data in an operational data store database. Data Warehouse Data Warehouse is arranged into hierarchical group, dimension, into facts, and aggregate facts. The combination of facts and dimension is sometimes called a star scheme. Data Mark is used to get data out to the users and a subset of data warehouse. Data marks make it much easier for individual departments to access key data inside more quickly and helps prevent departments within the business organization from interfering with each other's data. Next, I will talk about BI Analytics. Business analytics deals with the whys of what happened in the past. It breaks down contributing factors and causality. It also uses these whys to make prediction of what will happen in the future. There are three main components of BI analytics. The first is BI tools. It used to receive, analyze, transform and report data for the business intelligence. Examples of BI tools are Sysons, Looker, Datapine, Yellowfin. Second is Report or Dashboard. Report a statistic document that contains data in text and table form. While Dashboard is a data visualization tool that display on a single screen about the status of business analytics metric, key performance indicator KPIs, and important data for an organization department, team, or process. The third is info delivery. Info delivery is a core functionality in any abandoned analytic application. As you can see here, from executive, it execute to operation managers or business analysis and execute then to operation staff or information consumer. User access, information portal, intranet, and extranet. Number one, users must accept the BI system and use it to add value to the organization. Number two, a portal should include more features such as advice, assistance, information support, and documentation. Number three, portal should be designed to do it is easily understandable and not over complex to confuse users. Intranet, a private website that is only available to employees of an organization built to connect and exchange information more efficiently around the business. Reporting can be assessed by organization staff using hosting. Extranet. An intranet that can be partially accessed by authorized outside user, enabling business to exchange information over the internet in a secure way. To share information business and give their partners and vendors access to extranet. The importance of BI implementation. The first point is gain new customer insight. What is this mean by we can have ability to observe and analyze current customer buying trend and habit? We, when we implement the business intelligence BI, we can understand what our customer are buying and what they desire to buy in the future. With this information, we can create product that user needed and we can improve the product to meet customer expectation. 
Second point is competitive advantage. This means by we can have information that put the the organization one step ahead from the competitor, so it allow your organization to make decision and plan for the future. The last point is efficiency improvement. The business intelligence help to improve the organization efficiency by increasing the productivity and also increase the revenue. The information that collect from business intelligence can be shared to all other member in the organization. This will save time on the making of the report and data extraction. This makes sharing information easier. This will also eliminate redundancy in the organization so employee can focus on their work. The challenge in implementing the BI, business intelligence. First point is lack of training and education. The often problem that an organization counter is lack of technical skills like designing, maintaining and supporting the business intelligence application. This will result of problem will lead to business intelligence application running slow, deliver uncertain information and also this will lead to rising costs to run the business intelligence. Programmer don't know how to code the business intelligence is mean by programmer sometimes is have difficulty to access the right data at the right time. If the programmer can access the data, it might be complex form and unstructured. The last point is difficult to maintain the installation and development of business intelligence because it takes time to understand the system and to develop the skill to create solution effectively effectively to solve the problem in business intelligence. Example on real implementation of business intelligence. The first one is HelloFresh, a centralized business intelligence solution save the marketing analytics team 10 to 20 working hours per day by automating reporting processes and also empower the larger marketing team to craft regional individualized digital marketing campaigns. The next one is REI, Recreational Equipment, Inc. They use a business intelligence platform to analyze their co-op membership by increasing membership rates for co-op retailer. So, all of this information equates to over 90 terabytes of data. And also, they can determine whether to invest more in brick and mortar retail or digital experiences for their members. The last one is Coca-Cola Bottling Company. The team automated manual reporting processes have maximized operational efficiency that can saving over 260 hours a year, more than 640 hour work weeks. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any questions, just drop your comments. Thank you.